the next step is Linux kernel image update. First of all, why this step is required? Because so currently I have given you the pre-built image of the kernel and the kernel version is 4.4.62 or something. Whenever you build your kernel module or device driver, then you have to build against a kernel source which you are using on the target. That is very important. So that's the reason why you should have the kernel source present on your host computer. In future videos, I will show you how to download the kernel source, configure it and generate a kernel image, then update the SD card with a new kernel image what you generate. For that, you have to follow some steps. First of all, you have to clone the latest stable kernel source from the BeagleBones official GitHub repository. Then you have to compile and generate the kernel image. And then you have to update the SD card with new kernel image and you have to boot again. I will cover these steps step by step. First, let's go to the BeagleBones official GitHub repository. You can just search a BBB Linux source. In the Google, it would take you to github.com beagleboard Linux. Here, the master branch is 4.14. We can use this master branch, no problem. Here, what you do is click here, clone or download, and copy this URL. Go to your command prompt. Let's create new window here. I am in the host, remember that. Don't get confused, I am in the host now. Let's get into the source folder what we created. Here first do git init. Do a git init and after that do git clone and paste that URL. What you copied and give the name Linux BBB 4.14. Hit enter and it would clone the Linux source onto your computer and it would certainly take some time. Please be patient. I will continue in the next lecture. Hey, welcome back to the lecture. So, in the previous lecture, I hope you have downloaded the Linux source code from the official GitHub repository of BeagleBone. And now let's configure and uh, let's generate the Linux kernel image by compiling the Linux source code what we downloaded. For that we have to follow the kernel compilation steps. These steps I have already covered in our earlier course but as I said if you have not taken that course and if you have come directly to this course then no problem you can still follow these steps. That's why I am explaining these steps very briefly. First step would be just run make dist clean. This would remove all temporary folder, object files and images generated during the previous build. This step, remember that deletes the .config file if created previously. Basically this step is not required because we have not done any previous build. We are doing a fresh build. That's why this step is not that important. Step 2 would be create a .config file by using default config file given by the vendor. For that we have to run the command make arch is equal to arm the default config file of your board. In our case the default config file would be bb.org underscore def config. After that the third step is menu config. This step is optional. Run this command only if you want to change some kernel settings before compilation. We may do this a little later during our course, but not now. You need not to execute this menu config command. And the step 4 is compilation, the kernel compilation. This stage creates a kernel image U image. Also, all the device tree source files will be compiled and DTBs will be generated. You can just copy paste this command on your command prompt. 
so I have attached a text file with this video from which you can get all these commands after that step 5 is building loadable modules dot chaos it is a step to build the kernel modules that's why we have to use the command modules after that we have to install the generated modules in the previous step that's why we have to use the command modules install this step installs all the generated .ko files in the default path of the computer so don't worry i will guide you with all these steps and after that we have to update the kernel image let's see that later let's head over to our command prompt in the source i have downloaded the linux source code and let's get into that folder this is a linux source first just do make arch is equal to arm just clean after that we have to generate the dot config file by running the board's default config file the board's default config file you can get in arm arch arm configs here you get the default config file for various boards and for beagle bone you just do ls minus l b star for the beagle bone you can use this bb dot org underscore def config oh sorry let's apply that make arch is equal to arm bb dot org def config you can see that the dot config is created now and after that you have to do menu config if you want to change any settings but we don't want to change any settings that's why we can skip that command for a time being let's compile the linux kernel source for that make arch is equal to arm cross compiler you have to mention cross compile is equal to arm linux g n u e a b i h f i think that's a command let's check g n u e a b i h f right and after that u image dtbs u image dtbs load adr is equal to you have to mention the load address of the linux kernel zero cross eight zero 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 eight zero 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 after that you can mention the build flag minus j4 let's hit enter this would compile the whole linux kernel source that's why it will definitely take some time maybe 10 to 15 minutes based on your computers or laptops performance let's hit enter so you can see that it started compiling the linux kernel source The Linux kernel compilation is completed and you can see that we generated the kernel image U image. The next step is building kernel modules. Let's do that. For that you can use the same command. So just delete all these things. Just type modules minus J4. This command will build all the kernel modules of the Linux source tree. Let's hit enter and uh, this also would take some time. Please be patient until the compilation completes. Now the kernel module compilation is over. Let's uh, run our final command that is modules install. 
This step installs all the generated .ko files in the default path of the computer. And the default path is root lib modules. You just have to run this command. sudo make arch is equal to arm modules install. Let's do that. sudo make arch is equal to arm modules install. This is basically the command is copying all the .ko files into the lib modules folder. It should finish quickly. So this is not a compilation. Now you can see that the installation is completed. You can go to lib modules path. Here you can see that there is already one folder which I created um, earlier. If you do ls minus l, you can see that this is the latest folder which got created now. 4.14108. Let me delete that older one. You need not to run this command. Let me delete this. So you should see this folder in your system, and uh, the modules install uh, command has created this folder and it has copied. All the .ko files into this folder. That's a modules installation. We have completed all the steps required to carry out our kernel compilation and to generate the modules. In the next lecture, let's update the kernel image on our BeagleBone hardware. That's why we have to follow these procedures. The first thing what you have to do is copy U image to the board and then update the boot partition of the SD card. Basically, what you should do is you should take out your SD card, connect it to the PC, and copy U image to the boot partition. After that, copy newly installed 4.14108 folder to board's libmodules folder. That is the next thing what you have to do. When we ran the command modules install, it created this folder in our system's libmodules path. That folder we have to copy into um, root file systems lib modules path and then remove the SD card from your system and connect it to the BeagleBone and just boot again. You should see BeagleBone boots with newly updated kernel image. Let's do that. I'm going to connect SD card to my system. I am in the host. Let me go to source and into the Linux source tree. Here go to arch arm boot. So here is a U image. Copy that U image to the SD card. But before that, let's open the SD card. But let's open the SD card's boot partition. Here we have older U image. Just rename that. And rename it to uh, something different. 4.4.64 something. Let's rename this. Now copy U image to media your username boot partition. And after that go to lib modules. Here you have to copy this folder. Copy minus A. Select this folder. And copy this to media, your username, rootfs, lib modules. You may have to use sudo here. Hit enter. That's gets copied and then run the command sync. Let's cross check. Go to rootfs and lib modules. Here we copied 
1.14108. Fair enough. Now just unmount this. Remove the SD card, connect it to the beagle bone and boot again. Let me first open Minicom. Now let me power up my board. And here it is, it is booting. Yes, it is booting. So we got the login. Let's log in to Debian. Attempt PWD. And after that, run the command uname minus r. Sorry, uname minus r, and you can see that the kernel image is now updated 4.14108. Complete up to here, and I'll see you in the next lecture.